Cairo Durham School District Superintendent Anthony Tayibi says 32-year-old Michael Ann Goodrich came in to register for classes on December 19th. He says administrators immediately felt something was off. Joel Rowell is a senior investigator with the Greene County Sheriff's Department. He was one of the people assigned to the case. She could have gone in numerous different ways to obtain a degree and we actually found out through the investigation that she has a high school diploma. So that just leads to our investigation and try to figure out what exactly her motive was for attending school. But Taibi says under the McKinney-Vento Act, the district had to admit Goodrich immediately because she claimed to be homeless. She had, did attend school for one day and she did in fact ride the school bus to and from school that day. He says Goodrich was absent on the 21st and then the holiday break began the following week. She was arrested on the 28th and charged with offering a false instrument for filing, falsifying business records and criminal trespassing. Joshua Mack has a daughter in Cairo Durham Middle School. It was kind of unnerving. Um, it could have been anybody, you know, you hear about the school shootings, all that. Could have been anybody coming in here trying to, you know, get plans of the school. I mean, obviously that wasn't the case, but it could have been. Taibi says the district followed federal outlines to a T. He says, if anything, this highlights some issues with the McKinney-Vento Act. Parents agree. I don't know, maybe they need to look into the act a little better, you know, maybe find out, not throw her in school right away, find out where, you know, she came from, find out what's going on, you know, with the family and everything.